Hey everybody, and welcome to another Perfumery Basics video. And in today's material showcase video, it's going to be a rose themed material showcase. So with today's video, I don't wanna showcase individual materials that make up a rose accord. I wanna look at some more single materials, both synthetic and natural that you can buy and uh, use this in your blends for a rose note or a rose accord. And the materials that I chose, I've narrowed it down to just three, which I found to be probably the most cost effective that you can use. So they're gonna be both synthetic and naturals, but the theme here is rose and cost effective. So let's take a look at the first material. Okay, so this first material we're gonna take a look at today is called Rose Jivco by Jivodan. Now this is 100% synthetic. This is their own accord bass uh, rendition of a rose note. And when I smell this, it is very generic, meaning it doesn't lean toward any specific type of rose. There are so many different types, whether if it's a Turkish rose, Damask rose, spicy rose, red roses, white roses. This is a good, just overall basic generic rose note that you could drop into your blends and you can probably use this and the most average consumer wouldn't be able to tell if it's real or if it's fake. It's, it's actually very pleasant, it's very good. So when I smell this though, it's not overly fresh, but it's not overly spicy and it's not overly sweet. It doesn't have any specific one facet that kind of makes this thing a star material or stand out. It's, again, it's just very balanced and generic. I think this is a, it's a pure classic kind of rose smell. It's a good go-to starting point for a rose if you don't know what kind of rose scent that you want in your blend and you're just kind of like, well, let me just, try and see what rose does in this blend. You can grab this first to give you an idea and then you can use other rose materials as necessary. So this is very, very cost effective synthetic. I think you can pick up like a 15 ml bottle of this for roughly 15 to $20. It's very, very cheap. But when I smell this, it smells to me like it's a it's a freshly picked, large, velvety soft kind of rose petal that's been kind of like fully bloomed and opened. You know how some roses you can get a rose bud and then you can get the rose that fully bloomed to open. And this to me smells more of like a, the fresher side of a rose bloom that is fully opened and you're getting that olfactory kind of scent as if you walked up to a rose bush, saw the open, the open bloom rose and just smelled it. This pretty much nails that. I don't really detect any sort of spiciness, dirtiness, maybe a little bit of sweetness, but it's barely de detectable. It's, this is pretty much fresh and easy to use. So that is my thought on the Rose Jivco by Givaudan. Let's see the next one. So this next material now is gonna be an absolute. This is 100% natural. This is a rose absolute from Morocco. Right off the bat, I can tell you this is more thicker, pungent, condensed, and there is a very detectable spiciness on the bottom of this slightly, slightly more sweet than Rose Jivco, kind of like, like a honeyed sweet, not a fruity sweet, but like a honeyed sweet. But I definitely, definitely, definitely get more spiciness from this than I do from Rose Jivco. And if you look at the SDS sheets from whoever you purchase this from, and it'll usually break down all the different uh, things that are in this material or in the absolute, you'll definitely see that there is eugenol in this. And I think they kept it below like maybe 1%, which is really where you're gonna get that spiciness. It's kind of like a clove spiciness from this, and you'll get that in here in the bottom. But this is a very, very affordable absolute. You can pick up like a small little 4 ml bottle of this from like Perfumer's Apprentice for roughly $16, $17. And with any absolute, you're gonna want to pre-dilute them when you use them in your blends. You don't, 
it's very rare to use an absolute neat unless you're going to be doing a very, very large batch. But uh, with Rose Absolutes, the way that I use them, because they are more expensive than the synthetics, I generally use these in conjunction with, synth with uh, synthetics to support that. So you do get more of that true to life Rose feel, a little bit more depth, a little bit more complexity. But because it's more expensive, you're going to dose it lower than the synthetic. So the two combined play hand in hand and they make great combinations. So yeah, this is Rose Absolute from Morocco. A medium impressions, very condensed, thick, spicy rose. On to the next material. Okay, so this last material I'm kind of excited to smell and talk about. This is a newly acquired material that I just got. And this is called Rose Ultimate Extract from IFF. And this is a little bit different. Um, while you could think of it as an absolute, but it's more of an extract. And the way that they did this uh, back in 2014, IFF, they used a solvent extraction method with all the materials that make up of a, like a Turkish rose absolute, but they're using the materials that are usually discarded and not used in making absolutes. And they're reusing these into making this rose ultimate extract. So it's still very usable and very scented, but it's a completely different scent. Very cost effective. Um, I purchased, a, I wanna say a large batch of like, well, it's not large, it's like 30 ml, but for a, an absolute natural type, uh, 30 ml is a bit, a bit much, but I only paid like maybe 30 or $25 for all that, which makes it very, very affordable. So what it smells like though, this is very distinctly, dirtier in a tobacco sense. When I smelt this and compared it to all my other rose materials, I immediately picked up on this tobacco-like dirty quality. So it still has that rose freshness, but now this one is a little bit more complex to me because it has a slight sweet side, but instead of the typical honeyed sweetness that you find in a lot of Absolute, this has more of a fruity sweetness, which leans more kind of creamy lactonic, like a apricot or peach kind of sweetness, but it's very, very faint. It's very faint. You might not be able to pick it up, but I can definitely tell you that you're going to pick up that tobacco, dirt, like a dirty uh, tobacco nuance in this, which makes it very, kind of very manly. When I first opened this up and smelt this raw, and then I, I diluted it down and smelt it again, and immediately I kind of said to myself, wow, this would make a great rose note and like a men's fragrance because it's such a dirty tobacco kind of fresh rose. Yeah, so when you purchase this though, the, the, the immediate thing that I noticed right off the bat was the consistency of the material was very, very thick. It was very syrupy like, and it was a, like when you try to pour it, it was a very slow pour in comparison to like Rose Absolute from Morocco, where you can look at the vial, shake it up. It's very liquid like, well, yes, it is still on the thicker side, but you can still easily pull out the raw material in a pipette or pour it. And it's still very pourable. This one, I needed to heat it up a little bit because it was very thick, like very slow dripping, like molasses. Yeah, so the way that I would use this, I'm actually using this in a blend on one of my men's fall fragrances right now that I'm making. And on its own, I would not use this alone as a rose note because it's probably too dirty, too tobacco-like. That's not to say you can't use it like that because if that's the scent that you like and trying to go for, by all means, use it. But I'm using it in with conjunction with Rose Jivko by Jivodan because you get that generic fresh rose from the Rose Jivko. And if you dose this a little bit lower underneath it, it kind of modifies that rose and gives it that slightly realistic, dirty tobacco-ness that you'll find at, at the bottom of the note. And in conjunction with Rose Jivko, they are, perfect powerhouse combinations. So yeah, that's a uh, Rose Ultimate Extract from IFF. All right, so that was it. Three quick, easy rose materials, uh, both synthetic and naturals for all you people that are looking to get some natural alternatives. Uh, so yeah, 
Um, all these materials can be purchased from either Perfumer's Apprentice, you can find them at, at Pell Wall if you're overseas in the UK. Uh, Perfumer Supply House carries a lot of these things. So yeah, if you enjoy using these materials, feel free to comment below, let us all know how you guys are using them, or maybe if you're picking up a slightly different scent or nuance. Sometimes I smell things differently than the rest of you guys. So with that being said, until next time. Thank you.